in drag racing, the lights flash green and the engine scream. But at the DB Drags, the roar comes from woofers, not headers. And the goal isn't a low ET, but some high DBs. Over 30,000 people in 50 countries compete in more than 1,000 DB drag racing events just to earn the right to attend the World Finals in Nashville, Tennessee. We do an invitation based on the uh, top 15 cars in each class based on how loud they are. The competition for the 12 classes is simple. A sophisticated microphone is placed inside each vehicle in order to measure SPL, or sound pressure level. Just as in drag racing, competitors go head to head with a countdown of the tree, but here they battle for 30 seconds with the highest score displayed for all to see. The cars competing at the World Finals are a potpourri of machines, and making the trip all the way from Germany to compete in the extreme 13 plus class was Team BS. We have more than 100,000 watts inside, and the car plays in the moment 177.6 dB. In the extreme class, Team BS handled all challengers, and in the finals, they posted an amazing world record just shy of 178 decibels. But not all the machines competing are so radical. Sport compact cars dominated in the smaller categories. A pair of Civic hatchbacks were the top contenders in Street 3 to 4. We ended up having a CRX lane around, so we're like, I think we'll just do Street. So far, it seems to be doing the trick. I know we got the first 60 in Street, so first certified ever. It's a little different than any other CRX box. It's a little bit, it's got four airports. Uh, it's kind of like, like a P-shaped box. Uh, it's the first one of its kind, and it's, uh, it's a little louder than any other CRX box. With, uh, I'm only running 4,000 watts also, so it's kind of it's kind of good. In the finals, Carlos Garcia, his wife Tanya, and crew tried everything, but the Dan Horner and Mary Ponson CRX was too good, taking the world championship by the narrowest of margins. Seems like these little hatchbacks just do the trick. In Street One to Two, which allows only two woofers, one amp, and one battery. Eddie Alfaro and Aztec Motorsports came to the World Finals with a Ford EXP that had just been completed. There's an advantage in the EXP from the hatchback. It's a two-seater. The advantage is uh, all the cubic feet we have in the back with the hatchback also. Eddie came into the finals trailing in second place, but as the starting lights flashed, Eddie put down a number that could not be topped. The World Finals had all the anticipated drama of competition. But if you attend the DB Drags, take my advice. Be sure to bring some earplugs.